What's up YouTube? It's Abdos TCG here and welcome to another TCG video on my channel. In this video we're gonna talk about how I personally organize my deck. So this is my deck binder with the Ultra Pro and uh, the Dragon right there. This is also a binder where uh, some of my trainer cards and uh, remaining playable stuff is. So this is uh, everything I keep with me. I uh, have a, a just a backpack and just put both binders in the backpack together with my playmat and then this. This is my deck box uh, containing my, uh, my deck, my current deck and uh, also a half deck. What is a half deck? Well, uh, with a half deck you can uh, complete a full deck uh, by using the cards from your full deck, if it makes sense. So, we have Boswell here, and then we have a deck divider from the internationals. Pretty cool uh, deck divider with Tapu Koko. So we have our Boswell list, so uh, Boswell, Regirock, Ramorate, you know the drill here. Uh, this is my deck, uh, a half deck here, so I this is not a full deck. If I want to make Boswell, uh, uh, like a rock, I just have to take cards from this deck list and put them into this deck list. And then I have a full deck, boom, 60 cards. And then I do the same thing after my uh, after I'm done playing Boswell, put the, the the cards back into this variant. This is the Zoroark list I have, so Zoroark, Lycanroc. It's already with the uh, the new uh, Rockcraft I'm testing out from Forbidden Light. So as you see, this is uh, the deck list, and uh, I just uh, keep them like this. Put the deck divider on top and put it in that deck box so it's easy uh, to travel and just uh, uh, change your deck list on the spot uh, while you're just play testing two of your favorite decks okay next up this is my deck binder this is just my uh, amazing deck binder if you just open it up i can make every single deck that is doing well in the standard format so uh, if i want to make galissa pod and the good news is Everything has yellow sleeves or either black sleeves and this guard and this situation they have uh, yellow sleeves So if I want to make Galissapod Zoroark, I just have to take these out and boom They are sleeved immediately and I can make decks on the go really quickly also uh, a two, uh, two line of uh, Leafeon a Feromosa So a, bit, a little bit of grass first so we have a full line of the Sejuai uh, we also have the Tapu Bulu here, there's Gardevoir, so this is kind of easy, I do recommend that. This is a, an Ultra Pro uh, binder with uh, 4 slots, uh, so uh, 4 by 3 that is definitely what you want to go for because you can put full playsets in this kind of binder and I do prefer that. Uh, we have Greninja here, even Empoleon, this is kind of a tier 3 deck, uh, not doing too well but it's definitely great, maybe it will become better with Wake, who knows. Some lab presses, we have Silk Valley, so these are black sleeves, uh, certain decks I just put in black sleeves because all my metal energies are in black sleeves, so uh, if I want to make Silk Valley metal, I just have to uh, pick the ones with black sleeves. Okay, next up, some more metal shenanigans, some fire with Ho-Oh and uh, Turtonators and Volcanians, even Garchomp is in here, Glacial Online, Lucario, so that's how I make videos and uh, make deck lists as well. So this is my deck binder, if I want to make a deck, boom, it's here, even an extra Lycanroc, some uh, uh, Alola Ninetales, all my Pikachus are gone. Somebody stole them, no! Yeah, I traded them away because, uh, yeah, Raichu has a fighting weakness and uh, that just happens. If you have a fighting weakness, you don't get to see play that often. Some Silgaleos, Vulpix with Beacon, uh, Pasimian, I do uh, I love Pasimian. Even I'm prepped here with Forbidden Light cards, even though the set is not officially out yet. And uh, we also have Garbodor, Espeon, Drop of Garbodor, still doing quite well. We have Venusaur, Lorentis, so all the... The top of the top are in here, so if I want to make a deck maybe with some Laurentis, I can do it because everything is sleeved, everything is in here in this amazing binder, so all the playable competitive stuff is in here for standard that is, I am not playing expanded at the moment, even some uh, rogue uh, things like Zerka trees, the tech cards here, Mew, Mewtwo, even the, the Dugdrio line is in here, uh, Magnezone of course, we have Necrozmas because uh, of course we know Malamar can power that one up, we have Nigaligo, so a bunch of GX cards I do own, even I'm prepped with the Wishy Washy, the new Wishy Washy will help Wishy Washy out. We have a Dawnwings Necrozma, Oranguru, Celebes because sometimes they might come in handy with the time recall ability. Also some tech cards right here so this is where things get messy here. We even have Delmize if something good of metal comes out, some Prism Star cards. Uh, Hoopas and even the, the ones that might become playable soon as the Alola Muck, uh, some more tech cards and then even a random Frogadier because I only have one at the moment. Then some more uh, um, supporters and items that I don't have in the uh, in my current deck. So as you know my current deck is Buzzwall, uh, Lycanroc and Lycanroc Zorog because they are easy switchable because they both contain Lycanroc and uh, the uh, supporters that I can just swap around the Lele's as well. So you don't have to buy yourself bazillion Lele's, just make half decks. So this is kind of easy, in the past I had a, uh, a lot of the half decks, I actually had six half decks but now I'm sticking to two that I'm playtesting it. If I'm done with those I replace them with two other uh, uh, decks that I want to play test with by using this uh, binder. So we'll even have some new supporters, Ultra Racket Squad, and uh, we have Bonnie, Acerolos, Skylas, uh, 
Gladion. So these are actually the competitive items and supporters. There are more supporters out there. I know we have Max Potions, we have Enhanced Hammers, Mount Cornets, Memories, Parallel Cities, Counter Catchers, so everything you might want to make decks with. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. We even have some cool proxies. Look at that. I used them at the video as well. <laughs> Amazing. And then of course some Zapdos because Zapdos rocks. And then we end up with energies, holographic energies for every single type. So that aside, we also have this other little binder. And in this binder, uh, there are some weird stuff in here. Uh, it's, uh, it's stacked, it's really full as you can see. This is just playable, uh, non-competitive. It's, it's actually competitive, they might become competitive, but they are not in my deck building uh, binder right there. So this is just keeping your binder in case. We have, of course, a bunch of stuff, more Venusaur, regular Galissapod. So this is an, uh, kind of an older binder, as you can see. Uh, it, it is not uh, that... Uh, yeah, beautiful anymore as you can see. Uh, a lot of cards that might become good, like Fliptini, you always want to keep a pair of those. The Paralyzation of the Burning Shadows Raichu. Hey, this Zapdos needs to be replaced to this binder. I am collecting Zapdos now that I see it. I don't look in this binder very often. Most of the time when a set comes out, as you can see, like a Yuxi and Masperate, I keep some interesting stuff that might become good to make videos with. So uh, that's what I'm doing with this uh, binder in the red. Uh, yeah. As you see, there are, there might be some cards like Weavile for a spread deck that might just become good, but they are not top uh, table con uh, competitors to put in a deck. I even have extra Magnezones that somebody one of my friends uh, needs to borrow one. Xerneas, Rainbow Road, used to be fun. Uh, we even have some random energies. Talon Flames could be nice. And then some more holographic energies. I'm a huge fan of holographic energies. I always try to collect them. When I go to Luke, uh, to Luke, what am I saying? To a League or a Regionals or stuff, I try to trade for the holographic energies. It's always nice to play with holographic stuff and then some more uh, items that are not in a binder uh, i know uh, you didn't see max elixir and stuff because all of these shenanigans these good cards are just in the decks right here as you can see i am not going to showcase the decks i already did that enough after my league cup reports and stuff so some more items that's just how i do it here these are some cards that i don't actually need i have a full playset, a double play set of everything even some more uh bridget and uh tapulele proxy so if i have these two binders with me I'm prepped, I'm just setting myself at the table, making some decks on my playmat. It's what I love to do most, I make videos about uh, tournaments and how they went, about deck lists. So Zoroark, Light Rock is currently my favorite deck of the standard format, uh, I don't know if it... Uh shows here but uh, everything is in here and then uh, if I'm done with it there's a lot of empty space in this uh, deck builder the uh, deck uh, deck builder uh, play wow I cannot even talk anymore what am I doing ho oh, in this uh, deck building uh, uh, yeah what am I gonna say here this binder here uh, there's a lot of empty slots where I'm just gonna put the cards if I'm done playing with it and put them back in the binder and then make something else so yeah, that was it. I had this question from subscribers that how you make half decks? Well, that's how I do it. I just make my main deck and then if I uh, am making a deck, I'm uh, taking the cards from the main deck and trying to complete the, main, uh, the deck here without putting them in and then I have a half deck where I can just swap between those. That's how I do it and that's how I make decks. Anyhow, uh, thanks for watching our TCG video on my channel. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, be sure to uh, leave a like. You know I always appreciate that. And I will see you guys soon enough with more Pokemon TCG content. I'm out. Peace.